Kevin Carius joins us now with sports, and we're just getting off of the All-Star break. Mm -hmm. How does Edmonton's All-Star break compare to other teams? Well, I mean, every team needs a break. The Oilers were, were playing well before the break, uh, yeah. the, the break came. So, but now with Connor McDavid, I mean, that's got a kind of a breath of fresh air and new life uh, heading down the stretch here. The Oilers returned to practice after their long All-Star break. They last played eight days ago. It was a, a lot of time off to rest some bruised and battered bodies. Uh, while they're coming back rested, they'll also get a boost as Connor McDavid will return to the lineup tomorrow against the Columbus Blue Jackets. McDavid has been out since break breaking his collarbone on November the 3rd. He's been skating for a month or so, but hasn't been deemed game ready until now. He said he isn't nervous, just more anxious to get back on the ice for a real game. Uh, yeah, definitely, um, uh, you know, feel a little bit more comfortable than you do going into your first game, having those 13 games of experience. So, um, you know, you're not starting from scratch necessarily, but you're starting from uh, uh, certainly a lesser point than a lot of people, so um, just anxious for them. Uh, we had them penalty killing, <coughs> pardon me, had them penalty killing 10 or 12 games into the season. Uh, we worked his way into that. I don't know how much of that he'll do right off the bat, but uh, and we also have to watch his minutes and make sure that he's, uh, he's handling it. The way he skated today, I'm not as worried about Connor as I am the other 19 that have been off for a week. McDavid will play with Benoit Pouliot and Jordan Eberle. Eberle said today he thought there was a chance he'd get an opportunity to play with McDavid with Ryan Nugent Hopkins getting injured. Todd McClellan said this line combination is a good starting point. It's been funny the year or the way the year's gone that you know, I got injured, uh, or sorry, came back the day he got injured, so I haven't really played a game with him, even in exhibition, so even been on the ice with him. So, um, you know, it was good to get out there and practice. So that we had a good intensity skate today and, and uh, you know, got our win back a little bit, and hopefully we can find some chemistry tomorrow. Defenseman Adam Clendenning, the Oilers' recent waiver wire pickup, was also with his new team today. He had a chance to be in meetings prior to the skate to get an idea of the Oilers' systems. He said he feels pretty comfortable already, and he's hoping he can help wherever needed. Whatever they give me, uh, take what you can get, and um, you know, if I get power play time, great. Uh, something I'm pretty confident in doing, and. Um, I hope to just move the puck and get on my own end clean and join the rush and see what happens. The Oilers recalled Griffin Reinhardt and Zach Cassian from Bakersfield ahead of tomorrow's game with the Jackets. Once McDavid is activated tomorrow, they will have to make one more roster move.